So change is the lore of life, okay? At a certain point in time, people may switch from one thing to another simply because it is a better thing or is easier um, to use than the previous thing before. It's more convenient or it's more innovative, so they switch to it um, in hopes of making their lives easier. And so at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh, I think it's starting to catch on that people are switching from Twin Twisters to Cosmic Cyclones. And uh, you may be wondering why. Well, first off, Twin Twister is, uh, it's, it's not a bad card. Let, let, let's get that straight. We're, we're not, like, I don't think there's a card better than Twin Twisters right now. I think the reason why we are switching right now is currently because of the format. Okay? Um, it's, it's, it's more of the format that's uh, allowing, that's giving us a reason to change from Twin Twisters to Cosmic Cyclone. And uh, the reason why I really do um, agree with uh, the move or the, the migration to Cosmic Cyclone is because of decks like True Dracos. Okay, so True Dracos, if you don't know how they work, um, they're spell and trap cards. Um, they activate when they are sent to the graveyard, so they have an effect. Well, they have multiple effects, but one of their effects activates when they are sent to the graveyard. And what happens is, when, that, uh, when it's sent to the graveyard, it gets to pop a card on the field. So if it's a, a true Draco spell card, it will pop a spell trap, but if it's a true Draco chop card that's sent from a field to the grave, it pops a monster um, on the field. So it's not only that, but um, they also, um, the way true Dracos work is that they also allow um, themselves to uh, tribute summon their own monsters by tributing spell and trap cards, which is the dumbest thing, <laughs> it sounds like the dumbest thing ever, but um, it's, it's actually pretty legit. And, uh, the deck is pretty OP, so um, a lot of people are switching over to a card like Cosmic Cyclone, where it's a double minus for them if, if their cards get, uh, get banished, because first off, um, they can't use it for a tribute summon, and second off, um, they don't get the effect where they get to destroy a card in the field. So, it's definitely understandable why this would happen. But, you know, if you're running something like Dark Law or Micro Cosmos, then you may not have to worry about this anyways. I mean, maybe not macro cosmos because that's like the real situational thing. But if you're running like heroes, you may not have to switch to cosmic cyclone. But um, for uh, the majority of decks, it's it's understandable why. And also, uh, you know, we, we can't forget that cosmic cyclone, although it does have a cost of a stack, it doesn't really like it, it's pretty much just a MST that banishes. That's that's all it pretty much is with. Uh, light, with a life point uh, price uh, on it. So um, it has all the usefulness and versatility of MST, except A, it doesn't destroy, and B, um, it banishes, you know? Like, although it, it does still target, so, you know, cards that can't be targeted. But yeah, it's, it's pretty much just the same thing. Um, Except uh, it does better in a certain matchup. And then, you know, against certain decks, there are a lot of decks that, that would benefit from having their spell chop cards sent to the grave. Um, like, uh, what's what's another deck? Uh, like, a deck like uh, Fluffles, where, where their toy vendor is sent to the grave to get to search. Or um, a deck like Zoo with a Barrage. So, um, it's not just helpful against one deck. It's helpful against a lot of decks, and it always has been. Um, the thing is, it's just more people are switching to it now because they are, because of the big problem, which is True Dracos. Because True Dracos are going to dominate um, this format. Um, well, not completely dominate it. Um, it's dominating the OCG right now. But I think for, for now, it's it's definitely going to be the one of the higher contenders. Um, it may be up there with like Zoo and a few other... Uh, Dino decks and maybe Dino Yangzing, if we see more budget builds of dinos, but um, it's definitely going to be one of those up there tier one, at, at the very least decks. So um, people are just uh, preparing themselves for it, and uh, yeah, I, I guess that's really the main reason why 
they're switching to Cosmic Cyclone. Um, so uh, I guess that's all I have to say for now. Um, I am going to do a full review of true of the True Draco archetype um, in another uh, Maximum Crisis Dissector video coming soon, maybe Friday, maybe Saturday. Um, so we'll have to see how it goes. But um, if you are watching just a bit later, then it's probably going to be up. But if you're watching just the day of that it's uploaded, then uh, just look out for it. Um, anyway, boys, this was Nisho here. Nisho out. Peace.